Another thing that really made you famous online was the groomer so-called controversy in which leftist, in leftists became very upset with you because you pointed out that radical gender theory activists were effectively grooming children into trans ideology through things like Drag Queen Story Hour. And you did an interview recently which did not go to air, uh, you said, in which you gave what you've called your standard response when people have a go at you about the groomer analogy. Can you tell us about that interview and what that standard response is? Yes, and I actually will probably be able to read it to you but the so I can get the wording exact. But the mm. thing is that um, I was being interviewed by the BBC and I've been asked by all of my British friends never to attempt the accent again. <laughs> so I won't give you the accent, but it was the most British moment ever. Uh, so this this guy for the BBC was interviewing me. It's interesting because they asked me to do an interview about a completely different subject, and then they ambushed me with this stuff. And he wanted me to talk about my involvement in the so-called, you know, groomer scandal or whatever, and accused me of doing a, a terrible thing. Mm. And so my my usual response, and I actually had it open on my laptop at the time, so I actually was able to read it to him, um, was that. Uh, I just say, look, if you don't want me to use the word groomer to describe what's happening, say, with Drag Queen Story Hour, I would like for you to tell me what word I should use for what I'm about to read to you or tell you. Mm. And so it turns out in 2020, uh, there was a paper published in a significant education journal called Curriculum Inquiry uh, titled Drag Pedagogy, where they make the case for Drag, th uh, drag Queen Story Hour mm. as an educational method. And I don't know what word I'm supposed to use when they describe it like this. They, this is their words. Queer world making, including political organizing, has long been a project driven by desire. <gasps> it is in, in, in part enacted through art forms like fashion, theater, and drag. We believe Drag Queen Story Hour offers an invitation toward deeper public engagement with queer cultural production, particularly for young children and their families. It may be that Drag Queen Story Hour is, air quotes, family friendly in the sense that it is accessible and inviting to families with children, but it is less a sanitizing force than it is a preparatory introduction to alternate modes of kinship. Oh. Here, Drag Queen Story Hour is, quote, family friendly in the sense of, quote, family as an old school queer code to identify and connect with other queers on the street. Then the last sentence of this paper is, we're reading books while we read each other's looks and we're leaving a trail of glitter that won't ever come out of the carpet. So I said, what word am I allowed to use for that? That's in an academic paper in a major curriculum journal. And he laughed his most British laugh possible. <laughs> oh, you know, this thing. And he said, well, yes. And so that's all he had. So obviously he didn't air that. Well, yes. And then he said, but don't you think it's dangerous to point it out? Oh. And I said, no, of course. It's dangerous not to point it out to children. It's very important that we we uncover that the in stated intentions of Dry Queen Story Hour are openly to lead them into alternate modes of kinship as a preparatory introduction to alternate modes of kinship characterized by family as a wink wink code for queers you meet on the street that's their words so if that's if i can't call that grooming i'm mm. not exactly sure what to call it mm. i'm at a loss but i will accept any other word that people want to try <laughs> to put for that Gosh, that is so insidious and, and like horrifying that that's their own words. I, I mean, I like I love drag. I love a drag show. Like I think it's great fun, but it's for adults, for goodness sake. I, I mean, I like so anyone who's talking about giving drag to to kids needs to get another hobby. 